Hello, Outport East here, Outport Outdoors, everything fishing, everything outdoors. And today, I wanna give you guys a quick look at my truck bed camper setup. Very simple setup, and that's why I wanna make this video. There's a lot of videos on YouTube showing truck bed camper builds that are really elaborate. And while I love those and I think they're awesome, if you're overlanding or if you're living in your truck for a certain amount of time, or if you're camping for a long period of time, I think those are great. But uh, for me, like this weekend, I just have to spend a couple nights in the back of my truck uh, so I don't have to pay for hotels to do some events across the state. And it's, it's not that big of a deal. And for me, it's not economical for me to get back there and do a whole build and do all of that stuff. While I do enjoy watching that and I do think they're awesome, it just doesn't work for me. I, I use the back of my truck for a lot of things. And um, this is perfect, no build, no nonsense. Just put a couple things back there and it works great. And I really think it'll work for you if, like I said, you're just spending a couple nights, if you have to go on a hunting trip, a fishing trip, or even if you're traveling a distance and you have to spend a couple nights in a couple different Walmart parking lots, whatever you gotta do, I think a build like this would be great. And I think it's pretty affordable. Okay, sorry guys, I had to move because the sun is like right there. It's just about the end of the day now. So the main part of my setup would be uh, probably the, tr the, the shell. <laughs> so this is an old Lear shell that I got for $100 on Facebook Marketplace. Super awesome. And it fits, really, fits my Tundra really well. It does stick off here a little bit. You see, it's not 100% perfect but it fits really well. When I got it, uh, it didn't have any struts, so I had to, I dropped about 15 bucks on the struts and it had no locks, so I dropped about 30 bucks. So I'm about 150 bucks into the shell. Uh, it came with the clamps, so that's something you can do. Go on the Facebook Marketplace. The, the shell doesn't have to necessarily be 100% for your bed. Um, like you see, this one fits great and uh, it'll work, so. Just get what you can do. If you have an F-150, dude, it's super easy. If you have like a Silverado, super easy to find them. For Tundras and, you know, Nissan, stuff like that, it, it gets a little bit harder to find the shells. But as you can see, I have a cot back here. This cot is made by Ozark Trail. This is a $50 cot that I got from Walmart. Uh, great cot. My sleeping system, I have a, a modular sleep system. It's a, it's a military slurp, surplus sleep system. This thing will go down to below way below zero uh fahrenheit which i would never sleep back here when it's that cold i wouldn't do it but it can <laughs> so uh, yeah i have a, a so all you need is a, a, a sleeping bag a good sleeping bag uh, a couple of wool blankets will do a, a good down blanket will do but uh if you have a sleeping bag that's that's better as you can see here i have a couple things uh i have my stove which is a coleman stove um, what I like about this setup too is I've taken nothing. If you've seen my other videos, I make, I do, I do like, you know, uh, overnighters, wild camp overnighters, bushcraft overnighters, stuff like that. I took nothing out of my, out of those setups. I don't like borrowing stuff from other setups because then they don't get put back. So this is all stuff that's just pretty much stuff I would take for this. Uh, I have a Coleman, uh, camp stove, which you guys know what those are. And, uh, I have a Mr. Buddy heater. I don't think I'm gonna need it tonight, but just in case I want to take the chill out of the out of the camper, that'll 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 be what that what I use that for. Let's get in it and actually show you guys some more stuff. <clears throat> this is the stove that I have. And then you see I have a couple um, couple bottles of propane here. Um, this this one pound bottle of propane will run this buddy heater for about four hours. So. Got some toothbrush, a toothbrush and some toothpaste. This is just a two burner stove. Um, I also have my Jackery here, which is just uh, to so I can use my laptop, stuff like that. It's just a power system. And this, guys, people don't talk about it enough, but this is my toilet. You know, if I have to use the bathroom, um, I can go to the bathroom, you know, so that's cool. And then this is just the hookups for my Jackery to hook it up to um, the car while I'm driving and charge it. So the Jackery is really awesome. I'm not sponsored by anyone, um, but 
uh, just to let you guys know. I know a lot of people are sponsored by Jackery, but um, the Jackery is awesome. I could plug it into the back to my car while I'm driving, and then when I get to my camp, I could put it back here, and it'll power my laptop. But it'll charge all my stuff. It's really great. In this cooler here, I just have some food, um, and uh, also some stuff for cooking. So I hope this gives you guys some ideas. So in here, I have another little canister stove here, which is a a little jet boil canister stove with uh, some more fuel. But I do want to show you guys kind of some of the some of the cook stuff I'm, I, I'm going to be using. I got this stuff just for truck camping, which I'm really excited about. So I got a billy can here, which is made by Zebra. This is the 14 centimeter. And then in here, it has a, um, a little bowl that can be used as a pan, fry a couple eggs. And then I have this little, this is from Walmart as well, a little $5 mug that's stainless steel so I can boil in it as well if I have to. And there's just a little mug that I can drink out of. This is a little kettle. Sometimes when you start cooking in these, you can never really get the taste out of whatever you're cooking. And uh, I like having something just to boil water in. So I have this little fire maple kettle. And since I have the two burner stove, I can have something cooking right in here. And then I can have uh, some water boil in here for coffee, tea, whatever. And then I have some food in there, which I just have some eggs and some other stuff and you know some vegetables to cook in the morning. Got a couple other things here which is just a little kit that I made for the truck. Got a can opener, I got a can of soup in there. Got some, got some grabbers for my, my little pot. Some cough drops, some matches. Got some honey for my tea. Got some various teas in there. Some spices, some butter to cook my eggs in the morning. A light, a little spork fork combo and just a little fixed blade knife that I also got from Walmart. I can get it out here. It's a little fixed blade knife to chop my vegetables for my omelet. <laughs> and then these are, this, this is called Hot Lips. And this is made for my, uh, my, my stainless steel uh, cup there. Then I got a little headlamp here, which is also from Walmart. As you can see, I'm, uh, I'm sporting Walmart. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick look at, um, you know, how awesome it is to have a simple setup that goes right down there. You could do way more elaborate stuff here. Got a couple pillows there, little travel pillows. And I bought these, which I'm going to make a video. They're just two um, small vice grips. It's a way to lock your, um, your truck bed camper um, from the inside. So those are really nice to have. If you see on the windows, there's a, you can't really see it, but right here and uh, on that window over there, some Velcro, which I have. Ugh. These that I've made, so I've made one for the, one for the rear. So this one will go on the rear. And then I have two for the sides. And this, this is Reflectix. Um, I got it from Home Depot, and then I put, as you can see, I just put the little Velcros on there. And uh, they're actually, they're actually, um, what are they called? I think they're called Loctite or something. It's not actual Velcro. Dual lock, dual lock. I knew it would come to me. <laughs> yeah, it's actually called dual lock. So it's, it's a form of like, it's like made by 3M. It's kind of like Velcro. And that's just for uh, some extra insulation as well as privacy, which out here, I don't need any privacy. There's, there might be some deer that come and look in, but uh, there's, I mean, I'm not, I'm not too far from like a road and stuff, you know, but like back here, I'm about two acres back into here. You know, no one's, no one's gonna come here. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys that. Didn't want to forget that. One thing I do want to do is make a curtain for the back because I didn't make a Reflectix uh, attachment for the back. So like I said, it's simple. There's not much to it. One more thing I want to mention that I know someone's going to mention that I didn't take out when I was in there is a carbon monoxide detector. 
Um, I always like to have a carbon monoxide detector, whether I'm hot tent camping or whenever I'm running this uh, little buddy stove. I know that um, it has a, uh, I don't know, it has a feature on there that it'll shut off if, uh, if it detects, you know, anything. But, you know, I don't trust my life with that. Um, I guess I trust my life with this. I like getting the ones that have the reading on it. You know, you pay you pay a little bit extra. I think this was like 25 bucks. And uh, I like replacing them every single year. So I have my old one that's in my my uh, my hot tent camping setup that is, that is in there. And I like to replace them, you know, just... And, and to be honest, man, every time I've slept somewhere, I've slept in... I've slept places with that and I never even get more than zero. In my hot tent, I've never gotten more than zero. So that's a good thing. Uh, this This truck camper is not airtight at all and if i do start that i will you know crack the windows a little bit so uh i hope this helped i hope it gave you some ideas like i said it's not fancy there's not much to it and you can run it with way less gear you could run it with a little canister stove instead of that instead of the two burner uh you can run it with no heater of course if you have the right sleeping bag um, i do crack the windows a little bit um, because you know you're gonna you're without car a carpet liner you're gonna have some condensation in there but it shouldn't be bad uh, especially if you run that without a carpet liner you will get some condensation so yeah guys that's the camper setup i hope it gave you guys some ideas i hope it ignited something in you to you know bring a setup like this when you go hunt or go fish or whatever you got to do and um if you have any questions just shoot them in the comment section below i just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting the channel it's been awesome and uh it's been a good ride, man. And uh, I know everybody says this, but I didn't really expect so many people to watch the channel and so many people to comment on the videos and stuff. I, I didn't really expect it. I just started, you know, fishing <laughs> on on, uh, on film. And then I was like, oh, I'm going camping. So I took you camping and I, and I just take you wherever wherever I go. And, and uh, the support has been tremendous. So thank you guys so much. God bless you guys. I pray that you guys are doing well. I pray that you have a joy that uh, surpasses understanding a joy that just doesn't make sense if you're going through a bad situation i pray joy over you i pray peace over you i pray serenity over your mind right now in jesus name and uh i pray you do well and just know that life is a life of seasons and if you're in a tough season right now that season will pass it'll pass and you'll look back at it and you'll be like man i thought i couldn't make it through it but here i am still standing i've been through seasons like that so be encouraged today and uh God bless you guys. I know I already said that already, but double blessing over y'all. And thank you guys for watching the channel. So, here's a bonus uh, to end the video. I'm going to sleep. It was a phenomenal day. Um, here's the inside of the camper. Uh, I actually made that just a little while ago. Um, so here's the back. Got my laptop here. And uh, I can I can bounce a Wi-Fi hotspot from my my phone. Made some tea, and uh, I'm just gonna go to bed. It's about 11:30. So I guess I'll show you guys these locks. Um, you put this lock right here, and see this can't move. So it's unlocked from the outside, but it can't move, and it just gives me a uh, peace of mind. Um. You know, if someone wants to get in, they can still get in, but it'll give you time to, like, prepare for it, I guess.